America. Uh, today we have a special video because whistle pig season is upon us here in Idaho. And I had several people write in and ask me what's my personal whistle pig setup. Uh, in case you didn't know what whistle pigs are, there's these little four to six inch tall ground squirrels, which you know, four to six maybe not used to what I'm seeing, but <clears throat> it is like the national sport of Idaho. So they're out for only for a couple months a year, and it's one of the most fun things that you can shoot that there is. So, personal setup. Me, I like a 17 HMR, and more recently I've been using the Savage B Mag 17 HMR. Really like the 17 because you're going to get you know three or four hundred shots in a day, so that gets very expensive with centerfire. But 17 HMR has an advantage over 22, and then it turns them inside out. Unlike 22, which you know a lot of times it zips right through. I'm also really liking the Bushnell SMRS one to six and a half. All right, it gives me enough power to reach out for you know 300 yard whistle pigs or so. All right, but for the close range stuff, the red dot piece is fantastic. The second piece of my gear is a little bit more unorthodox, and a lot of people that uh, drive to their shooting spots, that's not really how I roll. I like to, to go on a walkabout while I'm doing this. So for that, I really like the Camelback Rubicon. One, got a water, water reservoir on board, so I'm not going to get dehydrated out there. And then number two, I can throw 20, 30 pounds of stuff in this, and then that way as I walk the mile or so between whistle pig towns, all right, I'm getting some exercise out of this too, which is fantastic. Rubicon's proven to be very durable over the last year, all right, and it's basically become my favorite hunting pack. And then last but certainly not least, you got to feed your whistle pig gun something. And this year I've been using CCI's VNT and 17 HMR. Uh, these little tip guys have proven to be absolutely lethal. All right, so I've got a 17 grain bullet moving at about 2,650 feet per second, and on little tiny tissue, these things are fantastic. No need for a follow-up shot with these. So to show the lethality of the uh, the VNTs, I went out and shot some things that are not whistle pigs because I don't need PETA taking down our YouTube channel. I did some things that are similar in size. So let's take a look at that. So as you can see, the VNTs are accurate enough and lethal enough. Out of this little bolt action, but they're a fantastic choice. Oh, in the comments, be sure to post your favorite whistle pig setup.